Today, we're going to be starting visual transformation of my 400EX. And the two primary colors that we're going to be doing is going to be basically purple and teal. Uh, the graphics I had done by 725 Designs. Uh, I basically sent him my idea. I call it the Solo Cup. Evidently, people call it the Jazz or the Taco Bell Cup or the Dixie Cup. But that was the basis uh, around my primary design that I wanted to use. And I went to Lowe's. I got the Rust-Oleum Gloss Purple and the Rust-Oleum Seaside. And that matches my, my Jazz Cup or my Solo Cup or my Dixie Cup design colors down to a T. So as you can see, I got the white plastics. So I'm not doing anything extra with the plastics right now. Um, but what I need to do is just a couple of color changes. But in today's video, we're going to be tackling the blue parts. So the foot pegs, the motor mounts, brake lever, and the handlebars. And since I'm going with the Enjoy purple seat, right now I have the blue. I'm going to the purple. I also have purple and black shock covers on order. Uh, I'm going to do all the remaining blue parts teal. So the handlebars are going to be teal. The motor mounts are going to be teal. The pegs are going to be teal. And then the brake lever is going to be teal. And then I'm thinking about doing um, the top of the thumb throttle purple. And then also I have this Tusk brake lever and I'm going to paint this purple as well. Hopefully the teal will kind of break up the purple a little bit. We'll bring the teal up and then kind of break up the teal with a, with a couple of purple accents uh, up top. Everything is off here. Like I said, I also got the throttle top as well. I don't know if this was like, if all this stuff that's blue was bought in a kit, I don't think it's powder coated. I'm not sure what this coating is, but I'm gonna get some sandpaper, sand it, get it prepped, and I'll be back when it's time to start spraying. It's getting late, so I just got them hung up, hit it with the self etching primer, and then tomorrow we will come back when it's time to paint. Next day, it just finished raining and we probably couldn't see it good last night but we got all the parts uh done in the first little coat of primer so the ones over here are going to be done in purple and everything over here is going to be done in teal so this is about three or four coats and it looks like more carolina blue on the screen than it does in real life but it's very very bright very very 90s it looks good but i will say that this purple how this purple came out really surprised me because that looks excellent like that purple looks really good and this is just paint with no clear coat so i'm gonna let this sit it's looking better out here but still kind of iffy uh, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit before I throw the clear coat. And I went ahead and assembled the test clutch lever. And I'm going to say that purple looks really good on there. Uh, I will also say that I did not think about the part there being covered up when I painted it. But you know, oh well, live and you learn. If you do decide to paint a tusk clutch lever, make sure that you have the adjuster turned so that you can actually paint the whole thing but otherwise it looks good everything looks good the paint seems like is it might hold up good it, it might not the motor mounts will be fine uh the biggest thing will be the brake on the the wear on the brake lever and on the pegs and the shifter pretty much everything except for the motor mounts uh, I put the handlebars on because I wanted to see what it's going to look like and like right now it looks like it's going to look terrible because it just looks out of place nothing is on here yet but like right now it looks absolutely horrendous so I'm going to go ahead and get everything 
put on. The painted parts are now on. And like I said, right now it looks okay. But if I was to go somewhere with it looking like this, it looks very incomplete right now. And as it should, because it is indeed incomplete. But the color parts are on. Uh, the paint job looks okay. We're going to see how the foot pegs and the shifter and the uh, foot brake wears. But, you know, uh, it, just, it is what it is. It's wear and tear stuff. I love how the purple and teal look on the handlebars. And then I painted the top of the thumb throttle purple. I didn't know how this was going to flow. But I think it works really well i think it flows well i think it plays off each other really good i think i made a good decision with the purple accents on the teal handlebars but right now for it being in process it doesn't look bad if you notice i also changed uh the seat cover that'll probably be the next video i took off the one uh that had the blue uh grip straps on it and put on this purple one just to kind of go with the flow and then if you're, if you're wondering about the front a-arms i am going to paint the front a-arms when i take them off and rebuild them because the heim joints it's a couple of heim joints that are loose they got some play in them uh, and they no longer make these wicked motorsports or wicked products uh, a-arms so i will have to take these off figure out what size heim joints are on these and order ball joints and when I take them off to rebuild them, I will paint them. It'll be a combination of the purple and teal. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it, but it's definitely going to be multicolored and probably the opposite from side to side. And then I think I mentioned earlier that my purple shock covers should be coming in uh, in the next couple of days. And when they do, uh, I'll put those on, but I'm thinking the purple shock covers with the teal motor mount, the teal foot pegs. But right now, it just looks like just way too much teal in one spot and nothing to kind of break it up. So maybe once I get the shock covers on and the graphics, it'll look better. But right now, it's, it's too much teal uh, and not enough purple. I need to balance the purple off a little bit more. But I'm sure y'all tired of me talking. So... I will see y'all in the next episode, which may be the seat. It may be something else. I don't know. So, until next time, think, build, enjoy. Peace.